You've heard of a character saber, which is a lightsaber replica from a known character in Star Wars canon, like Luke Skywalker or Anakin Skywalker's. You've also probably seen a character-inspired lightsaber. While not exactly based on a replica, their design is based on a known character in Star Wars and their lightsaber. But have you ever seen a series-inspired lightsaber? Greetings, knowledge seekers. The Force is with you. I'm Priyon Joni. You're watching Lightsaber Culture. Today, we are checking out the Acolyte and Neopixel from Endsabers. Want to thank Endsabers for sending this lightsaber to check out so I can show you guys. Use my discount code PRIONJONI to get 7% off this or any lightsabers from Endsabers. If you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon. It helps me make more saber content for you here on Lightsaber Culture. Star Wars The Acolyte is an upcoming TV series on Disney Plus created by Leslie Hedlund. It's set at the end of the High Republic era, 100 years before the events of The Phantom Menace. The only premise we have so far is a story following a Jedi Master and a Padawan investigating a series of crimes. At the time of this video, we only have the teaser trailer, which shows us a sneak peek of what's going on. Also something to think about, if it was 100 years before the events of The Phantom Menace, wasn't it established that the Jedi Order hasn't seen a Sith Lord in a millennia? The Sith have been extinct for a millennia. So whose red lightsaber is that? Then again, it's also established that red lightsabers don't always represent Sith. Sometimes only Sith wannabes like Dark Jedi or Inquisitors. Sith aren't the only dark side users, and it's unclear if they're even the darkest of the dark side users. Since the story follows a team of Jedi, this lightsaber follows the design cues inspired from the logo art. A design of an ancient saber that was wielded in the long past. On the Endsaber's website, this comes in two flavors, Baselit and Neopixel. The Neopixel tier is a mid-level electronics board. It's Endsaber's version of the SN board. At this time, a Profi version isn't available, but you can upgrade it yourself. Baselit is available for $129.95, while the Neopixel is available for $229.95 for an affordable lightsaber. This design is gorgeous with the red, silver, and black that you see on the Acolyte series logo. From the pommel all the way to the emitter, the body is fully metal, but with textures and imprints that make this unique. There's a four layer pommel followed by a black textured grip. The button segment right here is highlighted in red. And if you look really close to the silver rings, you can see some arabesque characters on it. Towards the emitter, there's multiple layers of black and silver, and there's a perforated pattern right here that shows the blade glow right through, ending with an angled emitter. The whole emitter section reminds me of a high-performance automotive exhaust. While it's a solid saber, it's actually not super heavy. Let's check out how much it weighs. It's 7.03 pounds. Same weight when I put it vertically. Now let's open up the grip section to expose the core. I love how smooth it is when you're opening it up. So right below the battery, we have our charging port right there. And on the top side where the board is, we have access to the SD card. This is what you use if you want to change any of the sound fonts. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box and see everything that it comes with. The stand I'm using is not the stand that it comes with. I just like it because it's elevated. It comes with an acrylic display stand. And just to show you what the stand looks like, there is an Endsaver's plate right there. Got the electronics manual. We have a pair of white gloves. And I'm actually surprised by this because this lightsaber, because of the brushed aluminum, isn't really a fingerprint magnet. We have our toolkit, and let's look what's inside. There's the end saber's plate that goes with the display stand. We have a nice blade plug. And of course, we have our tools, which is our Allen keys and our screws, along with the USB charger. Friendly reminder, only charge your custom saber with no more than a five volt charger. If you do anything more, you might fry your board. And lastly, we have a 32 inch Neo Pixel blade that is dual ready. And this right here is everything it comes with. So now let's put the blade on. All right, you ready? 
Whoa. <laughs> that looks sick in red. And look at that through the perforations. It doesn't glow through all the way, but it has this styling that I've never seen on a lightsaber. And you know what? It's really comfortable gripping up here. There's no sharp parts. This is a really well-designed hilt. Now let's do a beauty spin right here. The pattern on the grip area and the black area, even though it's not rubberized or soft, it's still metal, it just feels great. It's crazy because I don't, I would not want to use this in dueling because it just looks so nice and you know, it's not weathered. So it just, you know, it looks nice and shiny. Should be a shelf queen, but <laughs> it feels really great if you were to duel with it. So it's definitely a nice saber for dueling or also for displaying. Now this comes in 12 different colors. You can manually change it. And there's 27 sound fonts, which you can customize with the included 32 gigabytes SD card, like I said earlier. Now I'm gonna show you something cool. Now, you know, it has gesture control. You can twist to turn it off, twist to turn it on. When I hold the button and then twist, it has kind of like a warp effect and uh, I've never seen that before. That looks so cool. So it has flash on clash, smooth swing, blaster deflect, as well as blade locking. So let's change it to a different color. Wow, in blue. The blue with the red accent just looks so mean. Man, it would be fun to come up with some lore, like whoever wielded this, because that just looks like a really elegant lightsaber. Let's do another color. Teal, looks very white on the camera. Ooh, yellow, right there. Ooh, green. That is bright, look at that. I cannot wait to take this outside, let's do it. All right, so that was fun. So this is the Acolyte from End Sabers. Comes in base lit and Neo Pixel options. Now, if you're looking for an actual character saber, check out my review of the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. I'll leave that right here. Or the Luke Skywalker lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. I'll leave you a link right here. All right.